while since my last tutorial it's got to do with my main um, shop which I've just uh, moved to a different e-commerce platform but that will be another story for another day I would record another to another video about that but today we are going to focus on coloring pages so this is the perfect tutorial for those coloring fanatics out there so uh, today I'm going to use one of my uh, printable templates so this is a new template which I've just created uh, this uh, will be a template taken from the inspiring quotes uh, printable template for commercial use so you can uh, use this template to recreate uh, different quotes or and for this instance, I'm going to use this template to uh, create a coloring page, a simple coloring page. So let's get started, shall we? So as you can see, here are about six pages. And today I'm just going to focus on this quote here, success is inevitable. And let me just open this uh, page tab, uh, pages tab, and we'll go to number five. Yep, it's number five. So what we'll do is we'll make a copy of this page to put it right down here. Okay, and maybe we'll remove this leaf because we don't really need it. And this uh, website is already in the master pages, so I don't want I don't want this website here. So I'll just um apply this none page onto this page so all i have to do is click here and just drag it and go to number seven because success is inevitable quote is on page seven okay so once you've done that that's all good we'll just select oops select everything and then head over to this um this coloring section here click on the formatting effects text and just switch it over to lined so you want it to be lined like just how like a coloring page would be right so people could color in so we can leave it as that and next you could go and open whatever uh, design resources you you have on mandala or something else for in, for this instance i open an eps file of the uh, of the design that i want from here so i'll just focus on something very simple and i'll just copy i'll open it on eps files can only be opened in illustrator so once you've done that all you have to do is copy and paste into InDesign. Now the reason why I do this is because when I open opened an EPS file and I copy and paste a file from EPS into InDesign, it will paste as vector graphic, not as an image. Because if I put an image, as long as it's, it's a high res image, that's fine to put into InDesign. But um, for vector graphic, it's just the quality of your graphic will be much um, clearer and um, the quality is better to, um, like you know how jpeg when you when you um, zoom in you know you have all this pixelated stuff on a, on an image you won't have that in a vector so that is why you know, I like to keep my graphics uh, nice clear and crisp okay so that's the whole thing about me always copy and pasting a vector graphic instead of an image. All right, if it's in high res, you know, I, that should not be a problem, but that's just my preference. Okay, so you just have to just um, drag it in and just hold your key, shift key and just scale it up and down, whatever size that you like, really doesn't matter okay so um, because this is a vector graphic I can't exactly uh, crop it so I need to put this in a into a container to crop the whole thing towards the page okay so what I do is I'll use my rectangle tool I make a rectangle box 
and then I click out and click on the uh, mandala image, mandala vector graphic, and Control X or Command X, and then I click on to the box that we've just created, right click and click paste into. So it's pasted into the container, the rectangle box that we've just created. All right, it's very simple. And it's sort of uh, pasted in the middle. Yeah, it pasted in the middle automatically for you. You can always adjust it to however you like. All you have to do is double click in and you can move whatever composition that you like. All right. But for this instance, I, I'm pretty happy with where the positioning is. Okay. Oops. All right. So, um, and so I would like to create the um, little uh, thing, like little white space around that. So, sorry, little white space around this quote. So success is inevitable inevitable would be seen much clearly so i've already made a uh, ready made um i'll just copy and paste here i've already done this already but i'll show you how i did it okay so i'll just copy and paste it and that's a lazy way i've already created that graphic earlier so i'll bring this to back arrange it bring to center back okay so I could click on my text and then this one I'll send it back okay And I'm going to align this in the middle and then I'll going to bring my text down maybe a little smaller or group it first control G or command G and then hold your control shift or command shift key and then just scale it down we are almost done We'll just put this together. We are almost, we are basically done already. And that's how you create your coloring page. Very easy. Now, I just wanted to show you how I did this graphic. So, what I do is, you want to know from scratch, is to, I'll just put this aside and I'll probably move my text somewhere else. So go to your pen tool and then you can start tracing it, okay? You can basically, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm actually recovering from a cold. So you can basically use a circle, you know, if you just, you don't want to do this. So basically I just trace the flower over. It's very easy, just a just basic, you know. Maybe I'll just zoom in so you can see what clearly what I'm doing. Something very basic like this. So click, just drag it over, click on a point. Go. It's very it's very simple. Okay. This is to show you um so this is just to show you how I did the flower in case you know I was just trying to be quick so that you guys can see the end product but it for this for those who are curious how I did the flower uh, this is one way you can do it I'm almost there Oops. I just want to. There you go. I don't want that line there because it gives a curve. You want it a little bit of a sharp 
uh, point there. Okay, so I think we are done. So what I did was um, you want to put this to stroke 7 and then put the fill to white. That's basically it's just it really and then maybe put it like that. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you can always perfect it later. This is the perfectionist me. I can't give it a break. It has to be perfect, unfortunately. So, okay, I just want it to look good. Okay, and then bring the text over and then send it to front. Okay, arrange, right click, arrange, bring to front. All right. Very, very easy. You might want to maybe make this a little bit bigger okay there you go your coloring page is done so for those who are interested in using my uh, inspiring quotes template you can head over to my shop the link is right below or you could head over to Creative Market or Etsy shop, just whatever, pick and choose. But if you really want to be quick, the link is just right below this, um, below this video. So again, it will look something like this. Um, we have six quotes in one and with a very affordable price, you could use it for basically... Um, Look, I'm in the process of creating the graphics, uh, the Pinterest pins for this uh, brand new template. So for those who are interested, you can um, head over to the shop. By the time I release this video, it should be up there already. So um, basically, this is great for selling, for giveaways. Okay, You can reproduce these templates. You can use as is. Uh, the fonts has commercial rights to the fonts itself so you don't have to create your own uh, to use different font if you don't want to so basically this uh, template is great for selling reproducing printables to self to give away as lead magnets content upgrades collaborations or for your own personal use so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you next time bye now if you like this video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click the bell button i'll see you next time